Hi, I'm Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access and remove the transmission on your lawnmower. I'll begin by tipping the lawnmower on its side. When I do, it's important that I tip it with the carburetor pointing up, so fuel doesn't leak out of it. Now I can remove the blades from the mower. And the blade adapter. I'll remove the woodruff key from the shaft. Now I'll remove the belt guard. And I'll remove the belt from the pulley. On my lawnmower, the transmission and wheel assembly is secured to the mower deck with a couple of bolts and brackets. This will vary widely with different brands and models of lawnmowers. With some mowers, you'll have to remove the wheels next and then the wheel gears. Then you can thread the transmission away from the deck. Now remove the tension spring and the drive cable. Now I can remove the transmission and wheel assembly from the mower. Now remove both the wheels. With the wheels removed, I have access to the drive gears. They're secured with retaining rings. I'll go ahead and remove them. As I remove the gear and clutch assembly, I'll keep track of the location and order of each of the parts. Also, I'll keep a rack nearby because it's icky. Now remove the dust guard and the plastic hub. There's a second retaining ring. I'll go ahead and remove it next. And I'll remove the bushing and bearing assembly. I'll do the same thing on the other side. And now I can pull the transmission away from the axle assembly. Now I'll disassemble the pulley so I can remove the belt. I'll use an Allen wrench to lock the pulley so it can't spin when I remove the nut. 